welcome back to another video and today we are going to um, set up the DJI O3 air unit FPV system inside the flywing helicopter so there's a couple things we need to do to get this system ready um, what you're gonna need is this uh, kind of like a T X60 with a capacitor and why we're gonna use a capacitor is for several reasons one it will make sure that anything that spikes from the main pack since we're going to run this off the main pack it doesn't fry and also is going to help with the video uh uh clarity like it'll be clear not all staticky but the dji system is really uh um, you really don't have that issue at all but it's kind of like a it's like an insurance policy so it, let's say your battery or your ESC kind of sends out a spike, it will, the capacitor will absorb it. So this is going to prevent from this from frying, and, and it's also going to help the ESC too. So, pretty cool. And then, so all we need to do is clip the black and the red wire, and let's get them soldered on together. So what I'm doing is kind of untwisted it a little bit, the cable, and then kind of just shove this in there. And then twist it together. Just like that. And then slide the heat shrink right over it with the solder. Put the heat gun back together. Looks good, and then got the DJI goggles ready to go right here. There you can see it's the V2, um, which also I like about why I got the V2s because you can actually put uh, get an analog adapter and run old your old analog FPV. So that's the reason why I got that one. All right, moment of truth. E that we have power. So that's the good news. So it's working great. So I'm gonna unplug this real quick. And for this air unit, you're gonna have to place this outside somewhere on the helicopter inside the fuselage where it gets a lot of air or it'll overheat. Good news is it has a uh, safety feature for uh, overheating. So if it does overheat, it will turn off by itself. So just want to make sure you guys understand that. So give me one second to figure out why this is not pairing and I'll show you what I need to do. So in this one, you have to update both the goggles and the FPV unit too. So you need to download DJI Assistant 2 to your PC. Unfortunately, MacBook does not work currently. So. All right, so pretty much everything is updated, like I was saying earlier. So now what we gotta do is hit the link button for both units. So I believe it is, the link button's under the power cable where it goes right here so all you do is just hit this red button and it should just make this beep beep noise so we move that to the side next we plug in the power unit all right and then we also hit Right where the green light is, there's another little button right there. We hit it just for a second. All 
Now it's flashing. Okay, so after we link the goggles to the air unit to get the video feed, you gotta go to your settings. So you just gotta click down. I'm sorry guys, it's just, there's no way to screen record from the goggles to show you the settings. All right, so you go to, oops, let me try to, you go down to about. You scroll all the way down you need to do is switch to aircraft model. After switching over to the DJI O3 air unit, you will need to reboot your system so everything will switch over. And after you reboot it and you turn it back on, etc., you should get a video feed from the camera. So you go to control and then you'll see the auto low power state for the air unit so just turn that off and that will get rid of the low power mode but be careful when you do this the air unit will overheat so you have to get air over as fast as you can so what i would do is plug in your helicopter get it initialized or your fixed wing jet and then when you're about to take off plug in the air unit and make sure you have that video feed and take off so you can get air to cool off the air unit because if it overheats you're going to have a blackout, and then you're going to be confused trying to figure out where you're at, and then you're going to crash. And you could possibly lose your air unit. So this is how you bypass it without having a um, drone flight controller to arm it. Back, the better. So pretty much, I think right there. So what I did, I'm going to move the air unit as close to the end of the wall right here. So about right there, you can see, about right here. This is how far I'm moving it over. After placing the command strip Velcro on the air unit and place them on the side that I showed you earlier, I decided to use a Velcro strap to hold the antenna in place. So you won't have to worry about your uh, main rotor blades hitting the antenna. It's a lot lower. And also by using these Velcro straps and the command strip, I'm able to take the air unit out of the helicopter and put in another helicopter in the near future without causing any damage to the fuselage. So this is how I officially decided to mount the camera. I'm just gonna put it on top. Better uh, field of view, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, and then this is the component I need, the last one, the female-to-female -female connector, so I can plug in my uh, DJI Air unit. So hopefully in the next day or two, I'll have better weather. It's been raining all week, so hopefully I get an awesome video from the goggles, me flying this. So I can't wait to show you guys. So I hope this... Uh, DJI air unit setup helps you guys out if you want to put it on your flywing helicopter. So, all right, guys. Well, hope this helps you guys out and catch you later.